Hi, my name is Kat Kerr, and today I'm going to be creating some abstract art for my feet using Amsterdam acrylics. Now, before I get to the fun part, I first have to prep these crack-like shoes. I found these at Hobby Lobby, and they are a rubbery uh, type of texture, and so I'm first adding some clear gesso just to make sure that the paint is going to adhere properly. And then I add some mark making. I'm using a china pencil and some graphite, really just to put something down on that white surface. Then I come in with some black acrylic paint. I love, love, love using black. It really helps to showcase the, the colors that are yet to come. I first pick out a handful of cool colors. I've picked out different shades of blues and greens and I really want these to be happy shoes. And so I start applying all of the colors in random locations. Now it was important for me to pick out different colors, but it was just as important to use different brushes. I love using different size brushes to create different textures and shapes, uh, just to add some interest. Now I'll continue to play until I'm happy with the design and then I'll put the shoes aside to dry. Next I pick a handful of warm colors. I've picked different shades of pinks and reds and yellows and I even love including some titanium white again just to get some different shades and I will continue to play using different uh, brushes and different shapes and again once I'm happy with the overall design I will put this next layer aside to dry. Next, I'm using the Amsterdam acrylic markers and I'm going to add some more texture and I will do this by mark making again. So I'll use some of the existing shapes um, to guide my marks as well as creating new ones. I also use the black and white acrylic markers to create a border around the design just to give it a nice clean finish. Now at this point I am loving the design but the rest of the shoes need a little something else and so I take some black acrylic ink and add some splatters around the rest of the shoes. Now the next morning when I woke up, I felt as though all of the shapes were a little too similar and I ended up picking another cool color and going in with some large circles just to give it a little bit more interest and I ended up adding five large circles, three on one and two on the other. And once they dried, I went back in with my uh, acrylic marker and finished up with some doodles. Now, before I can dance around with these, I did end up sealing them with some matte spray and I absolutely love the way they came out. They are vibrant and happy and joyful and abstract art for your feet. I absolutely love that idea. They're perfect for gift giving or keeping for yourself. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and for more ideas on using Royal Talons products, make sure you check out royaltalons.com. Thanks for watching.